Hey, it's Sunday, November 26th. And ain't that the most beautiful thing you've ever seen is a brand new radiator. Between that and the water pump, it's more than a thousand bucks. It's incredible how much this stuff costs. We're gonna have this in there pretty quick. This should go real easy. We gotta attach those brackets. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, to the outside of this that's what holds the radiator and uh, these bolts came in the package I guess they're to replace these pins but the bolts are, are much longer than these pins so I'm just gonna be reusing the pins well dang it <sighs> this new radiator has this extra piece of metal on here on both sides this side and the bottom side here and that makes this too wide to fit in between here so this is non-magnetic so it must be aluminum I'm gonna have to cut this off Why? Why is it always something? Okay, that was not so bad. Uh, I took my hacksaw and cut this. Actually, I, I used my Dremel uh, to cut that m mostly through. And then I did the same thing along this edge. And then I used this carpenter's chisel, which I have downgraded to a gasket scraper. And I got up underneath it and bent it, and then it just broke off. And then I filed it clean. Over here, I've switched the same. Use a hacksaw here, because I got better control. And then I cut that already. And uh, not really showing up too good, but no, I'm going to pry that up. Okay, you can see where I got it started and the, f the first one when i pried it up i kind of bent this a little bit which i think this is pretty much not supported or anything back on that side not exactly sure what's going on there there are these little metal tags that go down between the tubes and i think it might um bridge to the other side to keep these from bulging out. I think that's the purpose of this thing. So let's see if I can do this here a little bit more carefully than the other one. Just give it a squeeze here. All right. You know, I purposely only went halfway through so I wouldn't ding this piece here and then we can kind of gently tap that and now I'm going to file this with just a regular hand file just to make sure that this is level with that. Okay, I've spun it around and the place where I need to cut this off is one rib beyond the hole, which puts us right in the middle here. I don't think I'm going to be able to get my hacksaw to do that. Maybe I can get the nose of it in there. Um, let me first put the cardboard over here to prevent the inevitable. Yeah, I think I can do that. 
by hand. I'd much rather do it by hand than with that for better control. All right, progress. So the front side of the radiator, all four places of it, it's uh, soldered or welded or one piece or something. And I had to actually sand this down using my abrasive. This is 36 grit on my sanding wheel. Looks like I need a little bit more there. Uh, maybe not because uh, the bottom piece, I don't have to take so much of this off to clear that like on the top the top is like wider at that point of the radius for the fan cut out here so let me uh give this a test fit all right so uh geez i'm into this for about two hours just to get this far because of uh this business here but we're in we're solid everything's fine uh, that extra little piece of stuff on there isn't really needed, I don't think. It's not part of the original radiator. And besides that, the steel is snug on the radiator. So, hey, fine. Uh, so, this should be easy. It just sits in those holes right there. And then we got to add the brackets, the stiffener brackets. And these up front, that's for the uh, air charge cooler. Well, there's good news and there's bad news. And I don't know how this is gonna play out. The radiator's defective, brand new. Let me show you where it's leaking. I haven't even got the transmission cooler lines hooked up. <clears throat> it's leaking right from that fitting. It's leaking coolant right there. And it showed itself when I plugged in this line and wiggled it around to make sure that it wasn't, you know, that it was fully seated. And when I moved this fitting around a little bit, let me show you. And I put a little bit of pressure on it. So, I've been uh, actually working on this all freaking day to get this radiator in and filled up with coolant. And now it's got to come out. 